from Kuala Kangsa. Uh, the people in Kuala Kangsa, uh, they have a lot of, you know, labu sayo, all this kind of thing, you know. They have that kind of jeez. But the spirit is, I mean, everybody have that kind of spirit. The artistic spirit is there. started with uh, some kind of a curiosity. Pompas dia drop jenis chemistry, drop jenis admit, saya memang lebih ada. Habis. At the interview itself, uh, Tan Sri Asyad said, uh -huh. art is the only subject you deal with. <laughs> I said, yes. Uh, would you like to do art? Yes, I said immediately, you know, without thinking, I said yes. That's it. My interview was very short and brief, and I walked out, and my father said, did you get it? How was it, yeah? I said, I got, uh, my, I got art. And my father was like, oh, what art? going to the theatre, then I realised that there's a job for people who, who, who love to draw. So that, that that's the first time uh, I was exposed to art. Masa aku 9 years old kot, uh, bila ada one day tu, aku kena tinggal uh, daripada satu art competition tau. Aku tak ada kereta waktu tu. Lepas tu, bapa aku ni jenis yang uh, bertindak tau. Tu, just tahan taksi dan terus pergi sekolah mana, dekat mana bagi detail terus pergi dan aku nampak lah uh, kawan aku tu dah halfway tau then uh, kick start dia dekat situ lah sebab aku menang kan Saya suka melukis juga, ayah saya mesti bagi tahu orang oh ini dia ni lukis tu, dia lukis ni Tunjuk pula lukisan, suruh pula demonstrate kan? Orang datang suruh lukis, dia orang nak tengok, dia kata kan ha, Jadi macam itu, itu dah biasa Jadi dalam kelas pun, saya dah jual komik kan? Komik, buat komik dengan pensel Kertas lukisan tu, lipatkan, jadikan buku Jual 10 sen, 20 sen, orang beli uh, Latar belakang keluarga sebenarnya ada juga kaitan eh? Yang mana uh... Datuk saya dulu adalah seorang uh, tukang, tukang rumah yang mahir. Bapak saya dulu dia ni tukang rumah, dia juga buat wayang kulit, dia juga buat ukiran-ukiran kayu, dia juga buat uh, keris, ulu keris, saun keris, besi semua dia buat kan. Jadi mungkin inilah yang saya rasa rugi lah kalau saya tak kan tak, tak dapat sikit lah benda tu kan sebab benda ni agak habis. The brother dia bawa satu katalog dia kata this is art and design which is you tak payah belajar math this is my dad's book Syair Isra dan Mi'raj I can trace actually my my roots of expressing myself coming from my ancestors my my father A couple of friends, you know, that believe in me, you know, say, oh, this is good. So even that a very little or minority, but it helps. Oh, it gives you motivation to move further. Passion. Yeah, passion. Jadi, uh, kita buat kerana kita seronok nak buat. Kita buat gasing kerana kita nak main seronok main gasing, kan? Bukan kita buat gasing kerana nak jual. Kan? <laughs> kita buat layang-layang, oh, sebab seronok kita ada musim layang-layang. Jadi, we do it because we love to do it. Sebab, setiap benda yang saya buat, kalau awak tengok, kan? kalau you tengok sekarang ni, saya banyak buat benda yang menyeronokkan saya. Kalau tak dapat duit pun tak apa. Tak buat tu, tak seronok lah. Macam ada benda tak cukup lah dalam hidup lah. Pasal macam ini tempat paling seronok, pasal paling enjoy. Pasal dalam seni tu kita nak duduk kita tumpu kita fikir kita kita luahkan apa kita rasa kan. Eh. Hmm, tadi bila tak ada tempat luahan tu, oh, alamak tu. Desire aku tu masih 
umur aku yang 12 tahun tu aku rasa Desire tu atau energy tu yang yang masih kedap dan aku masih sayang dan aku masih cool tau Aku, aku biar dia sama je All values came from my parents. When it comes to the arts, it came from many different teachers. And all these teachers, they come tak sama. It's inside you. As long as, kalau you orang Melayu, kalau you melukis, Melayu tu mesti ada. Cuba lah pun you nak jadi Jackson Pollock ke, nak jadi apa ke, I bet you tak boleh. You boleh buat, boleh tiru-tiru, tapi orang nampak Melayu tu. Art lah bagi saya dia, dia tak akan puas lah. Kita buat kerja macam mana pun dia tak akan puas. Kalau puas, macam makan nasi lah, dah kenyang berhenti lah. Kan? Tapi art ini tak macam tu. Dia tak boleh berhenti. You feel very free. You are very powerful. You are a master. You create according to what you want. Uh, pada saya lah, talent is not special lah. Sebab so, nobody special dalam dunia ni sebenarnya. Special ni orang yang macam Nabi ke Rasul, it, itu special lah. Macam kita ni. But I tell them it's not special though. Tell them it's tanggung jawab. Eh? If you want to work with clay, you have to have perseverance. Yeah? You have to have that um, staying, staying power mm -hmm. a long time because it's often very frustrating. But in all the frustrations, you can also get highly excited and you know things can come up because you never know it's always a surprise when you open the kiln tiga benda ni dia bersatu baru saya boleh start kerja selalunya dia rasa mental saya kekuatan mental saya satu yang nombor dua tu saya punya dalaman saya dalaman saya kekuatan dalaman saya dan yang ketiga kekuatan fizikal saya I put the color, I make it, make up the glass beautifully, dress her nicely with colors and this, and put the gold on her. I carry her into the bed, and I f fire it. When the next three days I open it, and it cry, it break my heart. She really break my heart. Apa yang, apa yang kita rasa nak buat, kena buat. Idea ni satu benda yang tamu yang kita kena kumpulkan, lepas itu kita analyze, kita fikir apa benda macam mana nak develop kan idea tadi so the kind of people that I've been working with also bukan uh, artis saja I've been working with musician, composer I've been working with theatre people, film people I've been working with scientists from different scientific uh, disciplines my, my direction right now adalah more to challenge myself to buat art yang special paintings lah, very visual punya my personal style lah. I think right now I banyak pada style lah. It's fascinating, it's translucent, it's so lively, it's so brilliant. You know, the colors you know, and always full of surprise.
apa yang you tahu you sampaikan kan you share dan you sampaikan bila you bila you percaya dengan apa yang you buat dan you takkan stop uh, pesan profesor saya dulu lah kan semasa saya di, di US tu dia kata if you want to do a work a sculpture work do it with responsible do it the, uh, gunakan buat benda tu dengan dengan tanggungjawab dan juga perlu bertanggungjawab creativity is a continuum evolving entity you cannot uh, you cannot stay put or become stagnant you know a traveling will teach you uh, to indicate certain things about what is the meaning of choice as an artist i would say that you know never stay to one comfort zone dia jari apa yang dia bagi apa yang dia dapat banyak dia bagi banyak dia dapat lukis lukis betul betul eh? bukannya ini acuh tak acuh I'm not worried if uh, I don't sell my art. If it sells, it's very good. If it doesn't sell, it's maybe it's not the time yet, you know. And I collect my own works. I mean, I'm the biggest collector of my works. <laughs>